What is up, Buck? I'm Doug with Dini in the Garage. This is a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ, and today I want to show you the absolute easiest way to wire some aftermarket LEDs or otherwise into your existing backup light circuit. Now this ain't rocket surgery, but we do want to do it in a way that's going to last. So here's your bill of materials. This is what you're going to need. Get yourself some kind of light. I like using these cheap Amazon flush mounts, but you could use literally anything. But the flush mount just has a look. I don't know. I think that's 10 out of 10. And before you go assassinating my character over the condition of my Jeep and the mountain of that light, there doesn't work, Jeep friends. There's beauty in function. And boy, is this thing beautiful in that respect. So figure out what light you're gonna use and then grab some wire between 14 and 18 gauge. This is some 16 is gonna work real nice. You're gonna be matching up against your OEM wiring here, which is probably 18 to 20, so keep that in mind. Then go over to your preferred usual scumbags. I like Advanced Auto, and you wanna get the assorted blade connector kit from Dorman for $2.99. And the one you're looking for, this guy right there. See that guy? Additionally, you're gonna need two female blade connectors, one male and a ring terminal. Don't cheap out on the heat shrink either. Now, a blade connector sound a little too complicated for the postmodern man. There are other ways to do it. They're not right ways, they're wrong ways, but there are other ways to do it. Most specifically, scotch locks will work, wire nuts will work. Do not let the internet catch you using either one of them. Now my light's already mounted because I wanted this to be a wiring video, not a mounting video. What you want to do is disconnect your tail light, locate your tail light harness, and we need to identify which of the wires here power our backup lights so that when we put our vehicle into reverse, this light comes on automatically. Could you put it on a switch so it's more of a work light? Absolutely! Pickup trucks do that kind of thing all the time. For me on this Jeep, I just want it to be an automatic light that when I go into reverse, it comes on with all of my factory reverse lights. Now your best bet is going to be Google the name of your vehicle, tail light, wiring harness. There's going to be a forum, there's going to be an old head, there's going to be a video, somebody somewhere is going to let you know. If you're doing a WJ, I recommend tapping in on the driver's side. This violet wire with a black trace, that is your power wire for your reverse lights. Then you can make yourself a little body ground. Hey, we got a light, look at that. Ooh, buddy, that's bright too. Now, we've identified where the power comes from. Time for the hackery, let's go. Cut back this, oh, it's actually just tape without damaging the wires, of course. All right, and then let's isolate our purple wire. I think y'all see where we're going. Let's chop that bad boy in half. Trim back your insulation. Alrighty, on the vehicle side, we're gonna put a little bit of shrink tubing, install our male blade connector. Now, since I'm using shrinkable butt or uh, sh sh shrinkable terminal ends, we're actually gonna tuck this under there just a little bit. What we're really doing is just sort of making sure that seal is extra good. Alrighty, same thing on the load side. And I'll actually leave a link to these Wirefly shrinkable uh, terminal ends. They're pretty good. All right, we got our light wires here. We need a piece of shrink tubing and a female blade connector on the power side. Same thing, we're gonna put a ring terminal on the ground side since we're gonna do a little body ground right there. 
You could absolutely, this uh, plug uses a common ground for all of them. You absolutely could chop into that one, but I like to chop into, I like to do the least amount of chopping into factory harnesses we can. So we'll, we'll pull our own body ground. All righty. Now, that, like I told you before, this is the key to the whole thing. What this allows you to do is plug this into the male blade connector and then branch off two different lights. So we've got our factory tail light harness there, our LED backup light bumper mounted ah, right there. All right, we'll take our self tapper, work it through and see. Oh yeah, there we go, light kicks right on. B-E-A, beautiful. Love to see it. Now, you can absolutely put dielectric grease over this, paint it, whatever you want. But I think that looks 10 out of 10. Let's find our tail light. Now, another reason I'm actually doing this right now is my tail light um, backup light does not work. I have a video up of how you can replace on these WJs this entire circuit board here because it goes bad. And that's what's happened on this light. Unfortunately, I tried uh, repairing the tabs on the clip. I tried replacing the bulb. I tried doing a few other things. It's gonna need a new um, circuit board here. If you're having a problem like that, I'll leave you a link to that video. But I've got a backup light on my bumper now, so it's okay. Plug this bad boy back in, lock your red tab. Make sure everything still fits. It should, there's enough room behind these taillights to accommodate that wiring in those terminals. It's a real easy project, takes, you know, less than an hour kind of thing you can do on a rainy day or oh, even an evening where you're feeling a little froggish. Alrighty, friends, that is all there is to it. It's a super easy project, but it adds a lot to the Jeep. That's a plow Jeep. I also tow with it, so having that extra bit of light when I put it in reverse to see what's going on behind me is going to be absolutely amazing. If you want to do that to your pickup truck or your Jeep, I will leave you links to this Wirefly kit. These are the shrinkable terminal ends. Highly recommend them. Additionally, this Dorman kit of heat shrink is really nice to have on hand. And then the key to the whole thing, the assorted adapters. They're really assorted blade connectors. It's various ways to make more than one thing branch off of a blade connector. Would recommend. I'll leave links down below to all that stuff. I'd love to hear how you guys add backup lights to your vehicle because there are other ways. At some point, I may try to put a switched circuit um, parallel with the uh, existing one so that I can turn it on when the vehicle is not in reverse if I'm doing something behind the vehicle and I just want some light. But that'll be another video. If you got any questions, by all means, leave me a comment down there in the squawk box. Either myself or somebody else in our amazing DE in the Garage community will get you an answer. I almost guarantee it. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Maybe go check out my website, monkeywithatoolbox.com. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you on the next one.